Good afternoon. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us, and thank you, Speaker Austin, for your leadership and kind introduction. As you can well imagine, Marty and I are proud to be here with so many state and local public safety heroes, as well as many state leaders standing behind me under this gold dome who support them so much. I want to thank especially Speaker Ralston for his steadfast leadership and strong support of Georgia law enforcement and his leadership on this issue. As you all know, over the last two and a half years, members of the House and Senate, including those with us today, have been strong partners in our combined efforts to prioritize public safety in the appropriations process and pass legislation to put the security of our communities and our families first. Marty, the girls, and I appreciate that partnership, and I'd like to thank you personally for the strong support that you have given my priorities as governor. Additionally, as we get started today, I want, wanted to recognize and thank a few other folks. Our Attorney General, Chris Carr, Colonel Chris Wright of the Department of Public Safety, Director Vic Reynolds of the GBI, Georgia Department of Corrections Commissioner Tim Ward, Department of Juvenile Justice Commissioner Tyrone Oliver, Department of Community Supervision Commissioner Michael Nail, Department of Natural Resources Commissioner Mark Williams, Georgia Public Safety Training Center Director Chris Wigington. I also want to thank our local leaders who are here on, who are on the front lines of public safety efforts and who have traveled to be with us today for this announcement. The President of the Georgia Sheriff's Association, Andy Hester, of Turner County, and I know there's many other sheriffs standing with him today in this capital. President of the Georgia Association of Chiefs of Police, Janet Moon from Peachtree City. President of the Georgia State Firefighters Association, Lieutenant David Bullard from Columbia County. And Chairman of the Georgia Emergency Management System Association, Chad Black of Habersham County. All in attendance today are working alongside my administration to build a safer, stronger Georgia. And I believe that we can all agree that work is needed to do that now more than ever. And our law enforcement officials and first responders have been thrown challenge after challenge in the past year and a half. Civil unrest, a spike in violent crime, as well as a global pandemic. To pile on, they've had to deal with partisan activists calling to, calling to defund police departments across the country. There is no doubt this terrible policy would only make our families and communities less safe. But this defund the police, soft on crime, demonized law enforcement agenda has also caused a crisis for our public safety officials in terms of recruitment, retention, and overall support for our men and women in uniform. This also includes our firemen and EMTs being shot or assaulted when they are going in when others are running away. Yet even in the face of these countless challenges, they and their families have continued to sacrifice and serve with honor and integrity. As long as I am governor and as long as these members of the General Assembly here with me today continue to serve under this gold dome, we will stand with our public safety officials, period. Others may talk of defunding your departments, slashing your budgets, or vilifying your profession, not here in Georgia. We are going to refund or fund our public safety officials and let them know that the people of this state and its leaders value them as well as their families. We're going to promote respect and gratitude for those who wear the uniform for those who run into burning buildings, for those who respond when tragedy strikes, for those who answer the call when Georgians need help the most, for those who work in our correctional facilities, for those who work to rehabilitate nonviolent offenders, and for those who protect and serve all Georgians. Because when they walk out the door to do their jobs, they're putting it all on the line in tough conditions, and they deserve to know that we have their back. That's why today we're announcing a $1,000 pay supplement for all eligible law enforcement officials and first responders in this entire state. The state of Georgia will be creating this opportunity through federal coronavirus relief funds. 
The eligible categories of law enforcement officials and first responders included are included but not limited to the following groups. State, local, or educational entity sworn law enforcement, criminal investigators and detectives, probation and parole officers, career firefighters, emergency medical technicians and paramedics, sheriffs and deputies, correctional and jail officers, bailiffs, fish and game wardens, and 911 communication officers or dispatchers. We are encouraging local governments and employees of public safety officials and first responders to visit the Office of Planning and Budget's grant funding opportunities website for more information on how to apply to receive and distribute these funds. Applications are going to be accepted from October 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. Please know that my office stands ready to support and assist you all however we can in the months and years ahead. Please also know that Marty, the girls, and I continue to pray for you and your families and deeply appreciate all the sacrifices that you make on a daily basis and the sacrifices that your families make as well.